And 30 takes later, he finally came up with one that he didn't hate so much. What's up, you guys? This great t-shirt made bringing you all back to Secret of Yoshi's Island. Yeah, the Secret of Yoshi's Island. Fuck me. No, 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 you don't have to, but, yeah, I mean, you can if you're... Well, whatever. Anyway, 4-6. Deka Shoru Paradaisu. Okay, that was obnoxious. <laughs> Speaking of obnoxious, uh, my house got hit by a tornado earlier today. And you guys? How have you been? Okay, 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 I exaggerate a bit. My neighborhood was hit by a tornado. But damn, did it cut a swath through my front lawn. And backyard, as, as I recall. But, yeah. The kicker? My mom and I slept through it. The whole thing. And so my neighbor knocked on the door and told us about it. She was like, oh my god, man, how have you guys been doing? Like, a tornado just went through. We're like, what? Then I look around, I see police cars and fucking fire trucks and ambul ambulances <laughs> and all kinds of shit. I'm like, oh shit. And you know, my house, despite getting. I don't. I, I highly doubt my house was ground zero, but. But, uh. My house received very little damage compared to some of the others. Like, some, some houses had to get blue tarps thrown up on the roofs. So, like, damn. And you know what else? Someone was actually injured, I believe. Because a siren left someone's house with... Or a, a siren left their house, damn it. An ambulance! Or, I'm sorry, ambulance left someone's house with the siren going off and left the neighborhood with them. So, yeah, I would... I, I suppose that is a good indicator of someone getting hurt. If not, then well, I don't really know what is. What the hell did I just get hit by the shell I just spat out? Damn! Nature, you unpredictable! But anyway, as I said, how have you guys been doing? Uh, yeah, like you're gonna, like you're gonna go in the comments section down below, and you're gonna tell me, yo, man, I've been doing fine, great teacher, man. How you been doing, man? It's, it's fun. It's, yeah. Oh, hey, my dad's home. I should say hi to him, but no, I'm playing a video game, so <laughs> that will not do. Well, I should probably hit this. Uh, oh, no eggs. Cool. Cool. Do I have eggs? Do I have the item for them? I... Well, I have a watermelon, that will suffice. <laughs> I'm never gonna use them otherwise. Come on, hit them. You're spitting a machine gun of seeds. You're gonna hit it eventually, you idiot. Oh, now look what you wanted did. You you drew a bridge. You asshole. Okay. O okay. There we go. That's what the doctor ordered. Some stars. Okay. Anyway. Um, no, actually, I don't really have another subject to talk about. I'm just gonna end the LP right here, guys. Bye. You mad? <laughs> no, but anyway, though, um, you're gonna need this Koopa back to the game. Or you're gonna need this the Koopa that I just killed. Yeah, him. But you're gonna need that Koopa to get that crate. And you're gonna need that crate to get a key. And you're gonna need that key to unlock a door. And you're gonna need to unlock that door so you can skip some footage in your LP because we've already seen that bonus challenge before. Or bonus challenge? That mini game before. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, thank God for my Matrix-like reflexes that I dodged that shell with. Woo! Now, obviously, if you stop this crate on the sand over there, you're not going to be able to do it, because that's no good. And I'm trying to stop it here, but it doesn't seem that that's... <laughs> okay, stop. Every time! <laughs> I know. Okay, yeah, so here's the key. Da -da -da. Or, oh, I'm sorry. Take a page from Zelda. Yeah, I'd take a page from that ass. Okay, well, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're going into different territory here now, folks. Uh, we're also not making a good enough leap to get to the platform where the door is. We're also not making a good enough leap to get to, the, to where the door is. We're also stuttering. And that's always a great thing to have in an LP, what'd you say? Oh, skipping. Yeah! Yeah! Suck it! You anteater! what I just call him? Whatever, just give me my 10 stars. <laughs> just shut up. Uh, I'm gonna make a calendar for how many times I tell myself to shut up. Okay. <clears throat> Forging on. So yeah, I'm forging on. We're in an orange cave with black walls. It must be Halloween around here, you guys. And uh, whoa, whoa. Hmm. What am I trying to recall here? Oh yeah. In the end of the previous episode, I did say this was my favorite stage in the game, and it is one of my more favorable ones, but even with that being having been said, I don't really love it. 
like, looking back, I'm, I'm just gonna have to withdraw that bold statement. It's just like, it's official, guys. This is great teacher made its favorite stage. Oh my god. We should all, like, just fucking play the stage right now. Here now. And no. No, I, I, I take that statement back. Sorry. Come back another time. Okay. And that, that'll go for the rain. I think that's a good reason why I slept through the tornado, actually, because it was raining. Well, I sleep like a little bitch when it rains. Even thunderstorms calm me. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a facet of being a Floridian, I suppose. A facet! Okay. So that cave we just went through, you guys. Was that a big cave? No, right? It's a pretty small one. So, riddle me this. Why is this transition required? This obvious and awkward transition with a little fishy. I can't even get him. I can't even play with the fishy. Fish! Fish! Okay, Nintendo Capri song reference. But anyway. That was an obvious loading screen between parts of the cave. And this part of the cave is not that big either. So, I'm pretty damn sure, and you guys can even back me up on this shit, that this game has thrown bigger areas at me in the past. So, like, why? Oh, watch out for those crabs, I hear they sting. But, <laughs> just don't get them, guys. And, uh, as you probably noticed earlier in the episode, of course you did. There is a low ceiling right there, you can doggy paddle underneath. And yeah. This, so yeah, there are two parts in the stage really doing that. Now these platforms, these, um, <clears throat> CIRCULAR PLATFORMS OF DOOM, are... Oh god, that was stupid. <laughs> when you hit them with an egg, ta-da, they change direction. Okay, and when you jump off them, they also go in the opposite direction of where, they're, of where they were traveling at the time. So yeah, keep that in mind if you ever want to get off them. Stop, stop at the bus stop, shit like that. We're gonna be using them in this uh, cave, in this part of the cave anyway, because- Oh shit, shit, shit. Because we need some red coins, unfortunately. And, uh... This isn't a very fun part of the stage, which is one of the main reasons why I withdraw that statement of mine. So yeah, red coins. Slow-ass platforms. Jumping over spikes. Having to make your jumps big as a result. Big. Come on, get that coin. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus Grandma. Okay, that was... Stop stealing things from other LPers that are better than you, Mike! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, I made it. I made it! I, oh, it's, it's okay, guys. I'm alive. I'm fine. Why are you freaking out so much? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I better wait for that platform. Whoa, I better wait for that platform. There we go. Okay, we're taking it. We're taking the shit out of this platform. And by taking, I mean taking it in the... never mind. <laughs> I don't roll that way, you guys. Honest, I don't. That's not a bad thing! Jeez. I really don't want to turn that into a meme. <laughs> oh, man. I, whatever. Whatever, just shut up. Okay. I really am debating whether or not I should add a counter on how many times I tell myself to shut up. Whatever. And say whatever. Okay, so obnoxious commentary out of the way. Uh, and also control fuck ups out of the way. There is a question mark bleh in here that you want to hit with stars. And you, you know, you want to be a superstar. So, to become a superstar, you're gonna need superstars. Uh? Uh? Uh, shh. That's the sound of me slitting my wrists. Because I'm emo. No. No. no, no. Okay. Anyway. So, this bridge. We're gonna need it. Actually, no. Not that particular one. Actually, yeah. Yeah, that particular one. Because we need that bridge to get hit by a shy guy like a freaking idiot. No, we need that low bridge to make this bridge. So, you know, like, yo dog, we heard you like bridges. So, we threw you a bridge so you can make a bridge on that bridge, so you can get on a bridge while you're getting on a bridge, so you can whatever. Then there are stars in this question mark below, so yeah, get that out of the way. Watch out for the fat faps, they'll, they'll hit you. They'll hit you good. And get the red coin, get the flower, state the obvious 20 times in a row. That's always fun. That's always interesting commentary. Okay, shut up. And yeah, go this way. 
Now, even though I didn't go this way when I first entered this area, that was kind of stupid of me. I really should have done that to get that final red coin. <laughs> and get this stilt guy. You know what? No mercy. Bye. Have a nice trip. Get that guy out of the way. Now up here, you're going to be experiencing some technical difficulties with a piranha plant. So yeah. Kill him. Somehow hit the shy guy in the process. That was actually kind of cool. <laughs> I knocked the shy guy off the stills as I hit the piranha plant. I, 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 just, I have no idea what to say to that. No, wow. I just headshot that one. Because this is a shooter game. Well, technically it is. <laughs> Whatever. Hit this guy three times. Except this guy is actually blocking your path, whereas the previous piranha plant technically did not. We're going to have to use a 10-star item here. Probably the one I achieved in this episode. Or the, this stage. <laughs> yeah, guys, the whole stage, the whole episode is dedicated to this stage. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Go! Moving on to the ketchup color Yoshi, or possibly the cherry or blah, strawberry syrup Yoshi. Strawberry syrup. I recently discovered it tastes good in milk. You make strawberry milk out of it. Now, moving on to a level that I actually find to be a little more entertaining than that one. Ride like the wind! Oh, come on, that even sounds like fun. We're gonna ride things like the wind, you guys. Okay, now, um, yeah. Technically, to get that flower down there, you'd have to jump off those Koopas, but I'm too much of a fancy ass to do that. That and I don't want to die. So, I, that's why I, why I used up my last egg on that. Now, you're gonna want to take that spring and, uh, retry if you make a shitty, uh, jump like I just did. And, wow. Okay, don't, don't, don't do this to me, game. Okay. God, I have the most trouble with springs in games. I don't know why. Especially the ones in Super Mario Bros., the original. Oh my god, do I hate springs in that game. Like, I timed the jump very well, but then, like, when I really need it the most, it's like, BAM! Nope. Chuck Testa. Damn it! Damn it, Bobby! There are, I believe there are stars in that question mark, bleh, anyway. You know, I'm actually probably just gonna go back and get it with these little guys, these little penguins. Yes, they brought them back! You'll be seeing these penguin things that are white. So maybe they're not penguins. Uh, whatever, I'm just gonna call them penguins. You'll see these pink, these pigeon things. There we go, pigeon, seagull, shit, whatever. Multiple times throughout the game, and yeah, that's always very nice to have. These oh shit. Um, actually, um, 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 you're gonna want to bring one of these Koopa shells with you once we get up to the top of this little chasm here. For one reason, I have to edit out that sniff. For one reason. Uh, to dodge these floating condoms. Now, just so you know, there is a secret spot thing over there. We will get to that in just a moment, but for now, I want to get this out of the way just to prove to you all how much of a nerd I am in this game. Okay, so I found out through some trial and error, <laughs> trial and error, that you spit a shell up here, you get a decent jump off it, you don't need the item that you would normally have to use, and by item I mean vehicle, and by vehicle I mean helicopter, to get this question mark blood down here, which entails stars. Come on, you, you can hit it. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Come on. Jesus, Grandma Titty Nachos Limpting Fuck. Okay. Now anyway, those coins up there, they're not just for show for show. No, you can get them by, uh... uh I'm not gonna be able to do that with these penguins, actually. Uh, here. Get out of here! Oh, damn it, I, I don't want you! Go back to your father! You fucking... <sighs> Cycle through my eggs real quick! So I get an egg that can actually go straight. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like these penguins and all. They're, they're handy dandy. Like, uh, you know, Steve's notebook. But, no. Just the, the, the normal, standard, old-fashioned, good old Aunt Jemima's pancake eggs are... What the hell did I just say? Are better for going in straight lines. Because it doesn't go at an angle. Or it's not supposed to go at an angle. There we go, I got that quote right. Yet again, I stole something from it up here. Anyway, get that life, or miss it like an idiot. That works too. And, uh, none of these coins are red. I checked with a magnifying glass in one of my practice takes. So, yeah. Now, just so you guys know, yeah, I don't think I ever stated this before. It's probably obvious, I, I'm sure. 
But, you know, technically we can get off now. Although, I forget if there's anything at the end of this coin line. Nope, jack shit, that's what. <laughs> nope, jack testa. But, nope, okay, okay. Ugh, thank God. Okay, yeah, you're gonna need that helicopter if you wanna... Well, I don't think there are any red coins up here. No, I, don't, I believe there aren't. So yeah, they're just coins. Bro. And that's how you normally would have obtained these that star, question mark, blue. Anyway, so we're gonna do something good and actually move on. Progress and an LP. That's a good idea. So, stay on this platform. And get this. Halfway mark! <laughs> and I believe there's a key down here in this crate. Yes, there is. And I didn't get it. Okay, yes, there is. I had to sacrifice one of my penguin children for it, and they they died. Probably crushed all every bone in their body on the way down. But that's okay because we got a key for it, and that's always swell. You're gonna want to miss that bullet, Bill. Actually, that's a good idea. No, actually, you're gonna want. Okay, I can already tell this platform's timing isn't gonna work. Come on. Okay, here here comes one. Yeah! Use him as a vault, and I'll skip this. Damn right I win. For a while there, I thought he was gonna win, though. Damn, nature. <laughs> Damn, nature! And I believe all these coins around this obnoxious carousel. Carousel. Merry-go-round. Merry-go-round. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Whatever. Are red. So, yeah. You're gonna wanna get those in death defying stunts. There we go. We got them all. We're done here, you guys. Oh, shit! Yeah, you're gonna want to jump off that red thing as quickly as you possibly can before it sends you to your other doom. So that you can go down here and follow that arrow in a leap of faith to get on this platform. And then when you get on this platform, you better jump the fuck off and get on this one. And when you get on this platform, you better jump the fuck off and get on this one. And when you get on this platform, actually, you can just stay on it because Nintendo doesn't want to kill you all the time. Only most of the time. Damn it. Ugh. Good. Good. It's like Zelda from that one Zelda CDI game when she kills that one dude, just mercilessly kills him, and he says, "I'm, I'm dying." Or no, he says, "Oh, you killed me!" And then she gets this wicked, shit-eating grin on her face, like a little devil, and says, "Good." <laughs> and the only reason I know about that from a Zelda CDI game is because, you know, AVGN. That's why. It's always AVGN. That's the. <laughs> He's the reason everybody knows about those games. Well, for the most part. Anyway. Man, what is it with me and talking about people that are better than me at this stuff? Okay, shut up. Stop talking negative about yourself. It's really, really stupid. Okay, guys. From this point onward, I'm gonna do exactly what I said I wasn't gonna do about the controller and stop bitching. So yeah, I should probably discuss this uh, castle, too. That would be pretty cool. So yeah, this castle is actually kind of a puzzle, in a way. You'll notice. You'll, like, you'll know exactly what I mean here in a little bit. And, uh, wow, that was interesting. Huh. You know, the reason why I'm saying that was interesting is because on my practice run, I always do on the Game Boy Advance version of this game. And, uh, for some reason, one of those blocks wasn't there in the Game Boy Advance version, so that was kind of weird. Now, you're gonna definitely want to go down this door first. Uh, definitely, every time you do this castle. Um, I mean, it won't screw you over if you don't, actually. You just want to, just because that's the necessary order to get everything done. As you'll soon find out. Um, I'm not- I'm just- I'm just gonna throw this out there right now. This game, the puzzle that I'm mentioning that this whole castle happens to be, isn't a very wicked one. It's really just standard stuff. Like, do things in the right order, don't get lost, shit like that. Standard. Okay, so we're gonna need this. So we can create the other... It just... It just ceased to exist. That's splendid. I always like it when things cease to exist against my favor. That's always very swell. I like it a lot. I've been saying swell a lot in this episode. I should probably stop saying that, too. Just saying. <laughs> okay, you're gonna wanna... Now, make sure you have those stairs down there fully developed. Like a woman's tits at the age of 13. Okay, shut up! So you can make these stairs. And you want it fully developed at the age of 13. That doesn't even make sense. My word! Or, like the lady from Earthbound. My land! The lady that killed Busby. Spoiler alert! 
And, you know, there's a very interesting story I have. Childhood story I have with this uh, door right here. One time, I don't even know how the hell I managed to pull it off, but when I was a kid and I was playing this game, I closed my eyes and ran this way for no reason at all, and I went through this door and got the middle ring. I have no idea how I did that to this day. It still boggles my mind like you wouldn't believe. It's just, a pff, whatever, you know, just whatever. Sorry if you heard that, I just moved my uh, headset around a little bit. I'm sure it sounded odd. Odd. Now, I just grabbed a shell, you're definitely gonna want to need that shell. Not for that, not for that question mark blew up there, that's just a life. You're not gonna want to waste your time with that, because you're probably gonna have to go back through that other area again, just to get it. Okay, let me get these coins up here, if I can. Yeah, I can. And, um, and obviously I use that shell to create a stairway that leads up to this door. And this door leads back to here. The room that I was talking about that I got to just from running into the bumper. And you're definitely going to want to hit this crate. Okay, controller's messing up on me again. So you can grab the key. Now we're gonna, I'm going to show you where you're going to be needing this key. I'm also going to be showing you um, a secret room that I, I've, I've realized... Of all the times I've seen people play this game, I have never seen anyone else find this particular secret room. And I'm not saying I'm a badass or anything, but like, I am saying I'm a badass, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, this room. Yeah. I mean, it's not that well hidden. As long as you remember what you did in Burt, the asshole's fort, but you made the holes in the ceiling, that, that should be all the knowledge you, you need. And actually, that's how you need to get a hundred, too. So actually, thinking back, just for that fact alone, I believe that's why a lot of people may know about that room, only because you needed to get a hundred in this place. So yeah, but then again, I'll admit, I haven't seen a lot of people 100% this game. I mean, there are- Oh, shit. Okay, that thing was about to disappear right underneath my feet, and that would have been rather lethal, I must say. <laughs> I've seen- I haven't seen a lot of 100% completion walkthroughs this game. I haven't really been looking for him, though. I'm just... Okay! Now, just in case you guys missed him from Super Mario World 1, they brought back Fishing Lakitu. Oh, you, you know you just missed him so much. Except in that game, I'm pretty sure his name was Fishing Boo. Because since he was a ghost. But yeah, they brought him back just for you guys! Oh, man, just, you should be so thankful that they brought him back. I'm, I'm serious. It's just, screw it. God, have you guys ever played that one- oh, shut up, of course they have. That one game, or mod, for Super Mario World, made by Wolf something, I forget his username. Kaizo Mario, if you ever watch Proton John anything, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, funny as hell, let's play by the way. Uh, yeah, Fishing Boo, in one of the stages near the beginning of that mod, is just unbelievable. They Just the way they position him. You probably know what I'm talking about if you've played it before. The the dolphins, and then like at the end of the dolphin area there's Fishing Boo, and Jesus, man. This is such a legendary intro to a boss. I love it. I really appreciate this game. But man, do I just really appreciate this boss intro. Look at how epic it is. Like, you just... You climbed your way up here. And then you got that epic background of trees and mountains and shit. And then you got this fog. You can't even see jack shit hardly. It's like everything's black and white now. So then you keep going on, you're wondering, wow, man, this is really intimidating, this music and everything. Jesus, I'm scared. I'm shitting into my pants right now. And then Kamek shows up, well, actually, no, Akuba shows up, and then Kamek shows up, and he says, Little Koopa, come through for me now! Go forth in Rock Yoshi's world! And then he sprinkles his chiz on him. And that's always nice. I like rainbow shiz. He's been eating a lot of Skittles, apparently. Yeah, Hook Bill Koopa. <laughs> I gotta say, this guy isn't a very interesting boss, but my god was the, uh, path to get to him interesting. So yeah, bit of a letdown. Um, uh, damn it. Wait a minute. <sighs> well, looks like I'm getting a 97, you guys. I forgot to heal myself with a star item. And if you run out of eggs... Oh shit! That was weird! What the hell? He usually can't hit me. Okay, if you need eggs, as, as I just showed you, you can get on his back and get him to cough him up. 
quite literally. I really shouldn't have had him spit those eggs on the left side. Oh god, that's right, you can chase <laughs> Damn. I really should have had him cough those eggs on the left side. That was really stupid of me. That was my fault. And now this battle's gonna draw on even longer because of that. Grab these eggs, and uh, as I showed you the first time I hit him, you got- Oh shit! Okay, okay! I get it! He's pissed off because I said he's a bad boss! Damn! Fine. Show me your moves! Is what I'd like to say to that. Just, all I need is a few more eggs, and then this guy is through! Knock him back flat on his ass, or on his back. You know, that works too. Just... Oh Man! Oh Man, I can just picture myself under that pressure! Damn! Oh, well, then we beat the, uh... We beat the final castle of this world, guys. And we got the big key! So we're gonna see a big boom here soon! Big boom! I like the big boom! We're going on to... A, an arguably good world. And I, I say arguably because I'm sure a lot of people don't like it because it is ice-themed. So slippery walking is involved, of course. The way I said that. Of course! You know, I always imagined we beat a boss in this game as green Yoshi, but I beat that boss as purple Yoshi. See? The other Yoshis get some action every once in a while, right? <laughs> get some of that Birdo action. BOOM! Yeah, what is this, Plock? A game with legendary music, I must add. Why is that Lakitu... Why does he have curlers in his hair? Oh, whatever. So yeah, we're done with World 4, we're forging on. We're going through this game at a rather steady pace, in my opinion. Three stages of uh, an episode, that's not too bad. At first it was two stages in an episode before I realized, Hey dumbass, there's a way you can increase your video time limit. Yeah. You guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. And uh, thank you very much for watching all my episodes up to this point, if you have been. Have you? Hmm? I'm tapping my foot here, and wait a minute. Ugh. Fuck this, I have Sprite. Too bad it was already open, though. You couldn't hear that sound. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye <laughs> I'm not